Ooh, yes, good. Recording, yes. Okay, this here, another blog of mine, I call this another YouTube blog. This one is about this weekend. Why is it no meaning how to do no relief kits? Well, on Sunday, I'm going to pack it. A whole bunch of pack, a whole bunch of them on Sunday. Semi line type stuff. Well, when that happens, when I go do that, no film, I'm probably, I won't be taping this vlog because these kids are going to far, far away to Istanbul and, and to a place like Syria, Istanbul, uh, sometimes Central America, places where I would not even want to travel to. But these are very dangerous countries. And with the, with the flu bug around right now, it even makes it worse because don't know why, because it's, uh, it's uh, you know, and the virus infection, that even bad. So I don't know how I'm going to say it, but I screw. So, even if I did try to become that, I mean, it would be, be, I'm more concerned about getting this, you know, um, shiny virus or anything else doing that, anyway. So, you know, but I think back on this, it is wonderful and uh, doing it. And that's one way so on. When you do any relief kits, you know, and packing them up, you do it with care and pride because even though you, I may I you know, I will never see the person gonna receive it, I know somebody at the end of it gonna see it, receive to see the work, and they're gonna appreciate the fact that we care we do stuff like that. That's great. I love doing that, you know. Because so, you know, I feel I'm doing something to help those in need. I mean, yes, we got people in need here in Hamilton Street, homeless, on the city street. Every day I see people say this. Put a cup, put a dirty old coffee cup somewhere, Tim cup somewhere, dirty cup, then spare chains, spare chains, spare chains, spare chains, spare chains, spare chains. You know what? I, I have to walk right by these people. I don't pay attention to them because one, <sighs> nine times out of ten, those people are going to do this. Get the spare, get the money, go run down to, run, run down the street to corner of a drug dealer and buy an eight ball crack cocaine sort of, or, or get some awful, awful drugs in this do himself in. No, or, number two, they go to walk in the bar and drink up so much booze to get drunk, end up in jail. Hmm. Anyways, or some are just there by circumstance, they don't want to drink, but you know, try to get off the street. Those ones that don't, those are good people. The ones that try to get off are the best people going. The ones that don't try to get off are not the best people going. Right now, I'm looking at Anderson. I'm buying a new TV. I got an Samson. I looked at how old it was. Or will I have to calculate out the time, uh, time it was with your body and state right here. It's about 10 years old almost. Almost 10 years old. I'd say about that. Yeah, Bruce. Now, Surprisingly, the LEDs will fail on this. Believe it or not, if you have any LEDs on it, it fails. They fail on these things, you know. And they do fail. And they usually have to, within that time frame, a seven. Any time within this 10 year time frame, when they fail, they just burn out. And then you don't get no picture. It can go black. Oh, they got LED behind the screen. I know that. I heard that. Seen video on YouTube been filmed and being fixed. But it can be repaired, but uh, I mean, it's really worth my time and a 10 year old TV. Uh, not really. Why don't you go buy a nice new one on Amazon? For about, and the software's outdated this thing too. It's have old software, adequate, inadequate software. It's very outdated and you can't up, it won't update anymore. Because Samsung don't no longer have the updates, don't send the updates for anymore. 
And on top of that, it can only do so much. After a while, you know, at the time I get it, I'm probably going to put my bedroom, you run it there for a while until it can't run no more. And then eventually get rid of it. Well, eventually. But, you know, I'm going to say one honest thing is with this is that you can. Well, I'm going to be honest too about it, you know, say, well, it's that time. Well, in July, I'm planning a trip down to Buffalo, New York. You know, maybe sometime in July. When? I haven't decided yet. Where our dollar is right now is not that great. And, you know, it's like, it comes down to value our dollar. I haven't seen any improvement in it since the three trade deals. I have no improvement in it. I don't think, you know, it's ever going to happen. And if it does, I don't know whether you have or not. It's been signed, but it have any improvement at all of yet. Hmm. All I see is Dow Jones going to all the buyers killing it the stock market. So our dollar our stock market going way down into a territory I don't want to see. And that's no good. And stock market does have effect on dollars too, Canadian dollar, American dollar. So, so that's you know good. Not because of Chinese flu virus, I put Chinese out of work. The country is recording, nobody moved, nothing get done, or nothing get done. And not only that, it causing an import problem with with Amazon. To think about it, you know, half the stuff on Amazon may not be fair. I may not get, a, may not be able to buy an A5 Pro because it made in China. But if China had virus, nothing happening. Boom. That got me worried, you know. Two, yeah. Buy a new TV that will last actually 2019 model and buy because. I haven't got this year model in because why? Because the virus in China is pretty bad. It's like um, really bad too, you know. So that causing issues too. Now, two years ago, I crossed the board. Of course, I dressed like a man. I didn't think of that. But you know what? I was pulled by. So I know tear gate a couple of by a, a nasty boy. Oh my God. Guy had a power struggle, I think. Well, I should have come on, but I didn't want to do it. Um, by this year, I'm not hiding anything this year. I'm going out as a woman, that's all I'm going to do it this year. Unfortunately, I know, again, and then I can register here. I don't even know I'm coming. I'm going to do be at the border when the parade arrives. I'm going to sneak into the parade and just continue. And then I can you know, you know, hopefully I don't get pulled over by a border guard again like I did last, last time. I got a little angry, worry about it too. Well, you know, that's another thing that makes me wonder. Two. Now, as I'm wondering here, too, that got me worried a little bit too gonna happen again. Well, if it happens, it happens, I can't do anything about it. Except, you know, I'm on bare news, I may have to return back to Canada and, and cancel a reservation. You know, that's the only thing I'm going to bear about. Well, anyways, I don't get my boat to burger because I can't get across the border and I'm not too happy with that. Pain in the ass, you know. But I have my, I have my Canadian passport, so I don't think they're going to look at me with my Canadian passport. I'm two. That if I even had sold it to him, well, oh, yeah. I'd be honest about it and just be very honest about it in this time around. I'm not hide anything. I did last time, that would be a little dishonest, but this time be more honest about it, you know, than it was before. Anyway, that's the only way I look at it. If honesty is the best, best policy I look at, honesty is the best policy. 
And now I see uh, an old friend of mine in the hospital. I can't mention names. Unfortunately, he has to go to get my go to get Miss Palsy or uh, Mr. Sir. Sure, I'll go get my I for a part. I not mention names. Well, she has been feeling too well, so she's in the hospital. I can't mention. I can say X. Mrs. John Doe. John Doe is in the hospital. Jane Doe. Johnny. Jane Doe is in the hospital. You know. Well, anyways, I can't say name. Jane Doe is in the hospital. Well, anyway, so I can't say that in a general in hospital. And, um, you know, like, um, yeah, how I get to, I think I'm a heart condition. But I got feel, I just got feeling that they're going to bring her in, they're going to look at it, they're going to do some tests, then they're going to find out that they have a heart condition, then they're going to give her medication and treat it. And they're going to set her up for another appointment, see a cardiologist in the future, and that's about what's going to happen anyway. I see it coming. I don't know. I feel happy that she's at the emergency room. I feel happy she's there. But I hopefully that, you know, things go okay. I just don't worry about it. I let things go. Anyway, not mentioning names because I can't. That's why I'm saying that, you know. So, um, well, hmm. I'm gonna Anyways huh. Well what I'm gonna say here is this that if um you really want to and you feel up to it and that too if so you can do a release kit too I'll be going to Oakville on Saturday, Sunday afternoon to do it, but I got an honor to do it. I love doing it. You know why? I come home, I feel tired, but you know what? That's a good tired, not a weak tired. Anyways, I'm going to shorten this vlog up and say now, vlog is now over with. And uh, hopefully, you have a wonderful, productive day or evening, or time day it is. And may. May the creator walk the field and you walk the walk in mind. Frog over. Don't drink and drive. Take a taxi or public transit. Remember, arrive alive. Don't arrive at two me on Monday. Three to three thirty on CFNU for Peacemaker Journey. Frog over.